So here are 25 of the best settings for Quest 3 and 3S. We kick this video off with a super useful one, which uh, lets you customize your menu by pinning your most played games to the bottom. To make this happen, go to your library and remove one of the default shortcuts, such as the camera. Find the three little dots on the app and select unpin from universal menu. And once it's gone, drag and drop your favorite game into the dash bar, so that next time you boot up your quest, you can jump right in. If you watch a lot of movies or play horror games, you'll definitely appreciate this next setting. There's a feature called Adaptive Brightness Control that can improve contrast in dark scenes. It's still a bit experimental, but you can try it out in the Advanced tab of the Headsets settings. Let's say you're sharing your quest with family members, it might be a good idea to put a passcode on your games, so they don't accidentally ruin your save game or go online impersonating you. To do this, just select an app in your library and click on Lock. From there, you'll be able to create a personal passcode. Another fun one is having your headset scan QR codes. Right now, it only works with your Wi-Fi, but I hope that in the future, it can recognize all sorts of codes. Head over to Advanced to give it a try. In case you need the virtual keyboard often, definitely use so-called swipe typing. It lets you spell out words by sliding your finger or cursor from letter to letter. It's quick and easy. To enable it, go to General, Virtual Keyboard and then find Swipe Typing. This next setting gives you the opportunity to activate hand tracking in a secret way. Instead of putting your controllers down and then uh, waiting for the hand tracking to start, with this feature you can simply double tap your controllers to instantly switch to hand tracking. You'll find this option under Movement Tracking. To be the first in line for the newest settings on Quest, you have to dive into software updates and enable everything you see. This will boost the chance of getting the latest UI changes and unique features early. If you're spending time in a menu but don't use the Horizon World's mirror or portal, you have the option to remove them entirely. Move into uh, Environment Setup, go to Interactive Objects and choose what you want to delete. Also, you can hide your avatar's hands and body. In my opinion, they are distracting and often than not obstruct your menu. Navigate to Accessibility and then Mobility to flip the switch on not showing your avatar's hands. Today's sponsor taps perfectly into the theme of this video too. If you hate wearing glasses inside your headset, especially with the pressure on your nose, then VR Wave's prescription lens inserts might be what you need. These are custom made to match your prescription and snap in place magnetically. You can even upgrade with blue light or anti-glare filters. Anti-glare reduces reflections inside the headset for a better image quality. And blue light filters help protect your eyes and improve your sleep. Use code NATHY for 5% off at VRWave.com or check out the link in the description below. If you're planning to record gameplay because you're a YouTuber or just want to share a clip with one of your friends, make sure to tweak your settings first, because the default ones aren't great. Go to Camera, where you can change the microphone, aspect ratio, frame and bitrate before capturing your favorite moments. On Quest, you have the choice to go for a light or darker theme. I personally like to use the light one, but you can change this anytime in display and brightness. It is possible to double tap the side of your headset to activate the pass-through. I find this particularly useful when I'm in the middle of a game and want to grab a drink. By going to pass-through in environment setup, you can start using it. In the same settings menu, you can enable a feature called glanceable room skill boundary. This, when you look down, triggers your boundaries and makes them appear on the floor, so you can see where you are in your play area. You probably know the Quest remembers multiple play spaces, but did you also know you can actually manage them? Well, head into environment setup where you can rename or delete them anytime. This may not be the most exciting subject, but I highly recommend going into your privacy settings. And for example, choose who gets to see your activity, like what games you play, when you're online and a bunch of other stuff. It is easy to miss, but when you hit the small theater icon underneath a window, you can go full screen with additional things like curving them and dimming your surroundings. 
If your save games are very important to you, I would not wait any longer and check your cloud backup in general settings. Here you can choose and manage what games you want to secure in case your quest ever breaks. We haven't explored the quick settings much, but here you can choose to activate travel mode. Turning this on will stabilize the headset during bumpy rides on a train, bus and plane ride. As you might know, you can tweak the lenses by switching between three settings. The first is 58mm, setting 2 is 63 and the last is 68mm. To figure out your exact IPD, you can use the iMeasure app on iPhone to find the precise distance between your eyes. This helps ensure all your games and experiences look as sharp as possible. When you have an Android device, I've got you covered too. There's a link in the description to an alternative version of a similar measurement app. Now if the number it gives you doesn't quite match the default settings, you can carefully adjust the lenses to sit between those settings instead. What people don't know is that you can change your username every 6 months. By clicking on your profile pic, you can start editing it alongside your description and photo. In the same place, it lets you customize your avatar. It offers plenty of outfits, headwear and more that you can rock in games that support it. Talking about your eyes, in quick settings there is a so called night display button. This changes your screen to warmer colors, which may be easier on your eyes, especially when you are about to head to bed. So what's possible too is to use multiple accounts on one quest and share all your games with others. Navigate to profile, enable share apps on this device and start inviting your friends or family by hitting add profile. Last but not least, this one is for Windows 11 users. You can now bring your PC into your Quest headset using the Microsoft Mixed Reality Link app. Just go to Advanced to activate it. And there you go! Let me know which of these uh, settings is your favorite and don't forget to subscribe for more Quest content. Bye bye!